Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the Great One Grind. Hopefully we can manage to get Great One number 5 today. I hope everybody's been having a good day. It's been a couple days since we did a live stream, but I've been doing some stuff on the uh, video side of things, and I'm excited for uh, the future of the videos here on the channel. Uh, you guys probably noticed today the, the intro was a little bit different, and uh, that's because we're now going to have reserve specific intros, so... Every single intro uh, for every different reserve on the map is going to have a different song attached to it and it's only going to be trophies that we've killed on that reserve. So there's going to be a specific one for Rancho, Mississippi, uh, Layton, Hirsch, like all those maps. Each of them is going to have their own individual intro and it's only going to contain the, uh, the ones for that map, you know, which I think is going to be pretty cool. I think that's going to be uh, pretty great. I don't think so, truly. I'm pretty sure it's the same. I haven't touched anything with my mic settings, at least. Uh, but anyway, guys, before we start today, there is the map. That's what our uh, pressure's looking like. Let's uh, start over here. See if we can get anything good. Well, I haven't made it yet, Johnny, but it will whenever I record a uh, Hirschfelden video. As of now, I've recorded, or I guess edited the... Uh, intro for Layton and for Mississippi we saw the Mississippi one today uh, the Layton one will be tomorrow that uh, kind of gives you guys a little hint as to at least part of what the video is gonna be tomorrow which by the way I'm really excited about tomorrow's video this might be the most perfect anything has ever worked out for me on a uh, on a video it, it just went perfectly in our favor and I'm really excited to show the video. I think this might be one of the best videos I've made. Um, hold on. I think I missed, uh... Oh, oh well, we're holding a spoiler for tomorrow. Well, you guys already saw it then. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> Country Boy Outdoors, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Twinkies, thank you for the super chat as well. Hope you guys are doing great. Couldn't send a super chat for like a month because I was having trouble with my bank statements on my phone, but I got it sorted out now. Nice, Twinkies. Uh, that's unfortunate that you were having some issues with it, but it's good to see you back, man. Hope your day's been going great, and thank you so much, Country Boy Outdoors, once again. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Alex, I did play the uh, Mudkip community today. I ended up getting a total of eight shinies, and sadly, I did not get a hundo uh, Mudkip, but I did get three that were 96%, so I got a few that were close at least, but no hundos, sadly. Sadly, no hundos. Let's go ahead and grab the 308s. See what we can do here. And you know what? Let's switch it up. Let's grab the M1 as well. Just so we can have a third backup option if we somehow still have deer after using both 308s. Just to make things a little bit more interesting. There we go. And then we'll do Argus, Argus, Hyperion. I think that'll be good. We'll see. That's a good buck there. Uh, Country Boy Outdoors, thank you for the super chat again, dude. You're my favorite hunter YouTuber. Well, thank you. I uh, really appreciate that. That means a lot. Well, and I should probably turn off my HUD or turn my HUD back on. I always turn it off to take screenshots of the different rifles and stuff like that for thumbnails. And then I forget to turn it back on. Is there anything else? Yes, reticle. Let's get that back on and dog icon. Perfect. Now we can actually see again, and it looks like the deer are still coming in, so it's maybe even good that it took us a little bit longer to get everything sorted because now we got more deer to shoot, and please don't hit the stand. We hit the stand, and we hit the deer that time, thankfully. It's always so strange to hit the stand. All right. I think that is everything on that side. And hey, why are you, why are you leaving? What? <laughs> they just randomly got up and started walking away. They were drinking. It's uh, still their drink time and they're just leaving. Now that now they're coming back. I don't know what I'm watching, but this is strange. Very strange. Jeez, Johnny, nice. Hey, Dalton. Hey, Trash Panda. 
Oh, you're still on the red deer grind? Nice, Swinkies. Hopefully that thing will be close for you, man. Hopefully you'll be close to getting a great one. I think there's one more. What is up with these deer? They're just walking out of their zone without it even being the end of the time. Oh, it's a bug. Yeah, it sounds, uh, sounds about right. What's more tiring, grinding for shiny Pokemon or grinding for a great one? Oh, definitely the great one. Uh, grinding for the great one, I'd say, is way more tiring. A lot more goes into it. Oh, no worries, Nox. I mean, the streams will always be here to come back and watch later. Even if they're unlisted on the channel, you can still view them in the playlist, so... The streams will always be here to view. No, thank you, 7K Gaming, for uh, being a part of uh, the streams and uh, being a part of this channel. Being one of the people that takes time out of their day to watch my content. Thank you, my dude. Because uh, that is what makes it so I can do this for a living, you know? Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. And I am super, super grateful for that. We got anything over here? It's not looking like it, so I think we'll fast travel back over and pick those up. That's unfortunate to hear, Tank. What's my grind strategy? Uh, grind strategy is kill everything and only hunt the three main lakes. Which are these three in the middle, plus occasionally this lake. And yes, it has worked for me. I've got a couple great ones uh, using this method. Hunter's always filled with bugs. It tends to have some. It's gotten a lot better though, thankfully. Like, last year and the year before was probably the roughest period for Call of the Wild. There was a lot of bugs around that time, and it's got progressively better since then. Which is nice. Always good to see them, uh... Always good to see them kind of working out the kinks in the game. I don't know about you guys, but... The last couple updates have been pretty good for me. And I'm really just, uh, just waiting for the next update to see, like, what else it's gonna fix. Because if they continue on the path that they're going right now, getting a lot of bug fixes every update, I'd say it's only a matter of, like, a couple more updates before the game's in a really good state. I feel like within the next couple updates, hopefully it'll be in... As good of a state as it was, like, pre-Silver Ridge Peaks, because I think... Well, not necessarily Silver Ridge Peaks, I guess pre-Great One. Because the Great One was kind of, like, the... what marked the downfall... of the game when it comes to bugs. I really feel like within the next couple updates, the game could be... back to its former glory. Because it sure has got a lot better the last couple updates. Oh yeah, Johnny, that was that was interesting. Anything here? Nope. All right. Move on to this zone then. Hey, Float, how's it going, dude? How many great one whitetail racks are there? I believe there's six currently. You never know when they might add more down the line, though. But I think as of now, we have six of them. Because uh, the whole, like, 50-50 racks, those don't actually count as a separate rack. Because it's, you know, two separate ones that are just, like, I guess one on each side. So there is six total racks for the great one whitetail deer. That's a decent buck.
Well, we hit it, but that definitely was not a good shot. <laughs> oh my gosh, that flip. That was something else. Nah, there's only six revived. There is the big rack. There's the cluster rack, the kinsko rack, the short mass heavy rack, the typical rack, and the drop time rack. So that is six in total. Like I was saying, the 50-50 rack doesn't count because that's not an actual separate rack. That's just two different racks put together. Wow. That thing absolutely dropped. That poor deer. What animal do I think will get the next great one? I think it's a pretty high chance the next great one will be either a mule deer or... Possibly a moose, but I really don't think it'll be moose as a lot of people seem to think that it'll be moose, but I Don't think so. I feel like mule deer is next How did I hit that I, to be honest, I don't even know Uh, no clue Tallboy. He really doesn't do much content anymore What's my shortest and longest grind? Um, my longest grind was for the albino Rocky Mountain Elk male. That grind took about two years in total. Not quite two years, but close. And then my shortest grind... I don't know, that's a tough one. I've had a few grinds that were really short. Yeah, I think in most cases I probably would have hit the tree as well, Johnny. We got lucky there. Hey, Jacob, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. I think he's just got a lot of, like, life things, uh, tall boy. I'm pretty sure Grim has a kid, if I'm not mistaken. Or am I wrong on that? Maybe he doesn't. But I know he's got, like, IRL stuff, like family things that he uh, also tends to, so... I'm going to assume he's probably just busy with life and not able to stream much. We did have a few crazy ones, Nox. I was actually surprised at some of those ones we were hitting. Hey, Kevin, how's it going, dude? Gonna be Mule Deer or Fallow because of the voting? That was my thoughts as well, man. I've always thought that Mule Deer is gonna be the next one because it was the second most, uh, I guess, voted for in the surveys when they did the surveys that led to the Great One Red Deer being released. And the other one that I saw a lot was Mule Deer, so I figured that it would be a Mule Deer next. And then also when they released the Great One Red Deer, everybody thought it was going to be Fallow Deer. So that's, you know, another reason why that one could be it. So that is uh, basically my thinking on what our next Great One would be. Though recently, it seems like things have shifted and people want to see a Moose or an Elk, but I feel like... Whenever they've got a great one coming, they've probably had it in development for a little while, right? It probably takes a while to develop a great one, so... I would imagine that even though Moose and Elk have been very popular requests recently, if they had already started developing a new one, then it would have been based off of earlier data. So I feel like it's gotta be Mule Deer. It's gotta be a Mule Deer. Hey, Raiden, how's it going? Had two max weight diamonds in two days, a plains bison, and a wild boar. That is awesome, Thomas. That is awesome, man. Pretty lucky. Oh, that was some lag, and that was a bad shot. That was also a bad shot. Well, they get to live. From, uh, from laggy call the wild to terrible aim right after. That deer gets to live another day. Oh, there's another. I barely saw it, but I don't think we're actually going to get a shot on it. Well, we at least got two. That's better than none. Uh, what do you mean, revive? 
It's got a blonde brown bear. Nice, Adam. Hey, Paxton. You think someday in the future they will have a great one for every animal? I know that was their goal a while back. I don't know if it's still their goal, but they had mentioned that eventually they want the game to have a great one for most of the species. I don't think they said all, but I do remember them saying they wanted to have most of the species at least one great one. So I think one of these days we will get there. It's probably going to be years down the line, but I could definitely see them eventually having a great one for every species. And can you just imagine how amazing that would be if no matter what you wanted to grind, you had a chance at a great one? That'd be really cool. Think they're going for great ones that are on beginner maps first? Well, the thing is they've already done a great one that's on each beginner map. My thought is they're probably going to move on from beginner maps because each of the beginner maps already have a great one. We got the white tail on Leighton and we've got the red deer on Hirschfelden. So my guess is they'd probably move on to some species on DLC maps next and then bounce back to some of the uh, base game maps after that. Uh, but honestly, it's hard to say. EW's been hard to predict in the past, so... I'm guessing they're they're probably going to keep us guessing, you know? It seems like they always throw us for loops left and right, adding stuff that we didn't expect, but then we end up enjoying. Like, nobody expected ARs to be added, and they've been just amazing for the game. Nobody expected a Mexico map, and it's become like a staple in whitetail grinding. Nobody expected them to add a Mississippi map, but it ended up being pretty well received so I feel like there's always a high chance that they'll throw us for a loop and do like maybe a great one none of us thought of or like a map that nobody thought of either way whatever the next piece of content is we get I will be excited just to see something new in the game and I feel like uh, regardless of what it is I always have fun with it just because it's new and unique and different which also, I gotta say, you know how, um, you know how I was saying that Mississippi was dropping down quite a bit on my map list of, I guess, favorite maps? It dropped from number one clear down to number five. It might be moving back up because I've actually been enjoying it. I've actually been enjoying jumping back on Mississippi again. As you guys probably have noticed in the last few videos, I've been playing Mississippi a little bit more and it's actually been pretty enjoyable. Um, no, I missed it, Revive. I have to go up. Um, yeah, Revive, but they also change, like, fur types and stuff like that as well. Like, the Great One Red Deer, it's got an entirely different model because the fur is different, the rack is different, they've got the foliage in the leaves, or in the leaves, <laughs> the foliage in the leaves. Uh, they've got the foliage in the antlers. And from what I can tell, it seems like the actual, like, body shape and, like, the amount of fur on the Great One Red Deer is more than the regular ones. So, I think that actually would require, like, a completely new model. I could be wrong, but I think that would require more than just, like, adding some new antlers. However, for the Great One Whitetail, it is a little bit different because all they had to do is the antlers. However, because each of those racks has true racks, I think it actually would have took a long time. That's one thing to remember is that each of these uh, great ones has the true rack system. And because of that, they have to model like hundreds of different positions for each of those racks to be in. Which is actually probably why it took so long to get a second one. That combined with it just not being top priority because they had a lot of bugs and stuff to deal with. But yeah, I think it does take a little bit more than just adding in some new antlers just because of uh, the true rack system and also different fur types for the red deer one. Curious what they would do with a mule deer. Because mule deer antlers are crazy. Well... That's not entirely true, uh, Bluefish. That's not exactly how. They still have to design those positions for the antlers. They talked about it a while back, and 
the reason that it took so long for us to get Truex in the game was because it was something that took a long time to develop. It was something that took a long time to create. And you may be speaking on how it works in Classic or something, I don't know, but in Call of the Wild, they have to predetermine each of those positions. They have to make each of those positions for it to land in, and then it's put to a random generator. They've shown us in the past uh, some, like, unfinished antlers for one of the Truax species. And it's kind of crazy. The amount of different uh, things they have to do when it comes to developing a brand new one. Well, it, because it still is a random antler generator, it, anything that's random, you still have to, like, design a base for it, you know, like... You still have to give it something to work with for it to randomize. It's just like, you know, you create, let's say, numbers 1 through 100, and then you put it in a random generator, right? Like, it still has to pick from the stuff that you created. Like, you, you put in numbers 1 through 100, and it just picked a random one. It's kind of like that. They have a very large amount of different positions that each antler can be in, and then the true racks, you know, selects... I guess which ones are going to go together and which ones fit well together for like the weight and uh, score of the animal and stuff like that. At least uh, to my understanding, that seems to be the way that it is. That might not be 100% correct, but I think that's about as close we could get. I actually would like them to do like maybe a live stream talking a little bit more in depth about like how it selects what is what and what antlers will go together what an animal will look like I'd really be interested in them doing something like that because they've kind of talked about the Truex system when it was first released but they've made a lot of advancements in the system since then and they never really went super in depth as to like how it selects the position of each antler I'd love to see something like that I think that'd be very interesting. Uh, she's doing good, Kingston. She's doing good. Unfortunately, she's going through like a teething, so she's been kind of upset recently, but she's doing very well. Hey, Kyla, how's it going? Hope your day's been going good. Hey, Caitlin. Hope you're doing well as well. Uh, yeah, Caden, I do pick up everything. Alright, I think we got all the ones there. Do we still have a tent here? We do. Nice. You know, honestly, we rarely get anything on this side of the lake anymore. I could probably remove these tents and put them it into, like, a better area. Because we could definitely use these more in a different area. Can I even pick it up right now? No. So, I need to drop the M1, which we haven't even shot it today, so that's not really that big of a loss. Hey, Mel, how's it going? Uh, probably a time after tomorrow and before 100 years from now, Tallboy. If I were to take a guess, that's probably a safe bet. Hey, Ethan, you didn't miss too much, dude. We've just kind of been chatting about uh, what we think will be future updates, things like that. Other than that, not really too much has gone on. Hey, Miles. All the cool mods are in. Now we just need Smash. Where is Smash? I wonder where he is. That's just how it is, Glass. You know, you could always watch both. That's always a good option. What should I grind for? That's good for people who just reset. Just basically running around and killing it. Uh, I mean, Fallow Deer on Tiabaro is a great option. Easy to get to when you're first starting and pretty easy to like find them all pretty quickly. I'd say that's a good one. I don't think so, Raid. I think there's some limitations that are preventing them from adding in crossplay. 
Y'all should just stream together. Maybe later if we're still uh, streaming after I get tired of great one grinding. Merge our channels. <laughs> so it's just Scare Clinton. Uh, sadly, no, Jerry. I have not heard any news on that. They mentioned it a while back that they wanted to do something like that, but I think right now they're probably more focused on uh, bug fixes. That's kind of how they've been doing it recently. They've been focusing a little bit more on bug fixes and kind of put some of that quality of life stuff on the back burner. Which I guess isn't a bad thing. It's nice to get the fixes as well. But I really hope we get uh, some type of sorting system for the trophy manager soon. It would be great. Looks like we have two there and three there. Could be some over there too, so we'll be careful. Killer Crow sounds better. That does sound pretty good. And it's still KC. True, it would still be KC. That'd be great. I don't know, we've thought about doing some uh, stuff together in the past when it comes to like maybe having a channel that we share. But I don't know. I've already got two channels that I'm working on. So I don't know. Which, uh, by the way guys, if you didn't watch it and you're into the Pokemon content, would definitely recommend heading over to the second channel and watching the video I posted yesterday. Where we ended up opening a um, Rapid Strike Urshifu Premium Collection box. And got a, a pretty cool pull out of it. So if you're into that content and you enjoy the Pokemon openings on the channel, I'd definitely recommend heading over to the second channel and checking that out. Because it was a pretty great one. Kevin, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Cure a bit of your duck aim. I think it's contagious. You're right. It might be. It might be contagious. It's starting to spread. Everybody's got duck aim now. But thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate the support. Oh, and also, just a heads up, guys. I'm going to be uh, finishing off my food real quick. So if I'm not talking as much, that's why. That is a lot more deer than I thought was there. I did not realize there was that many deer there. Wow. Food break? Yes. Food break for sure. I've got me some pigs in a blanket. And I am really enjoying them right now. Sharing is caring. I got you, float goat. I'll mail a couple to you. I can't promise they'll still be edible when they get to you, but I got you. 236, not bad. That's a good deer. Very good buck. Uh, that one, not so much. We shot a couple over here, right? I think we did. Oh, no, we hit it bad. Sounds about right. Oh well. Nice, Johnny. Two twenty five, not bad again. Getting a lot of eighty five to one hundred bucks today, so maybe that'll be uh good for future respawns. Send them via hotmail. They'll still be nice and toasty. Wow, float goat. 
That might have topped all of my dad jokes ever combined. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Nice, Ethan. I think you literally topped all my dad jokes ever, tall boy. Er, was that tall boy? No, it's float goat. Float goat. That that's amazing. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got Elden Ring. I haven't really played it much, but I do have it. What do I think of an Australia map? I think it would be cool if they did it similar to Pick a Bean Bay on the Hunter Classic. I much more prefer the kind of like jungle area of Australia compared to like the, I guess, dry arid parts. If they do it like that and then we have Sambar and Rusadir on it, along with Banteng, I would be so happy. Like that would be one of my favorite maps. And I could totally see them doing that too because uh, Sambar and Rusa are actually relatively highly requested from what I've seen. I see a lot of people ask for them, so I think that could totally be a possibility in the future. Can we get this guy? That looked good. Uh, might not have been good, but oh, maybe. I mean, it's losing health. You're not massacred enough. Hey, we gotta continue, man. Gotta continue smoking everything in sight. Sheldon White, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate the support. I've been doing pretty good, man. I've been doing pretty good today. Thanks, Rebecca. Only way I see Australia working is if it's mixed between the two classic maps and has 12 species. That would be nice. That would be the dream, right? That would definitely be the dream. A Hawaii map um there actually is some cool stuff that's in Hawaii so that could actually work out um let me see I'm pretty sure there's a couple types of goats or sheep down there that we don't really have in many other places favorite map is Quattro but actually liking Medved a lot lately after I reset my account how dare you, Kyla. Going to the dark side. I see how it is. What map am I playing on? This is Rancho Del Arroyo. Saltwater crocodiles would be really cool. That would be cool. And honestly, I've always had the ma that kind of mentality too as... Uh, I guess as referring to not really caring too much what the next map is, as long as it's good. I've never understood the whole, like, uh, I guess negative sentiment towards having more North American maps in the game. As long as the map is good, I don't care where it's located. And I don't understand the hate towards having more NA maps. If they have good species, then why? Why is it an issue? That's the one thing that I've never understood. Like, I get it. There's uh, awesome places all around the world to make hunting maps, but... If, if it's good, then it's good. I don't really care where it's located as long as it's an awesome map that everybody enjoys. Map in the middle of the ocean? Yes, let's do it. I am totally down. We just have an island map? That'd be amazing. Yeah, I know, Hudson. Uh, that's because I shot them all. They'll return, though. Oh, yeah, of course, Survive. If I find a great one, we'll definitely uh, ping everybody in Discord because that's a pretty crazy, crazy thing to run across. So we will definitely do that.
Oh, you're talking about for you, Hudson. Gotcha. Yeah, everybody's map is a little bit different, so some people will have zones that others don't, and vice versa. It's just part of the game's, I guess, randomization. Everybody's map's a little bit different. First hunting games called the wild would love to hunt elephants. Sadly, they're an endangered species. I mean, you never know. We might get them in the future. Anything's possible now that they've added ARs to the game. Because that was something they were very against doing for the longest time. So, I don't know. I feel like there is a possibility we could get elephants at some point. Because of the fact that they changed their mind about ARs and decided to add them anyway. So, you never know. We shall see. Need to make an island map and put iguanas on it. Honestly, you could do like a Florida map and put iguanas on it because Florida's like overrun with them. How's my week been? It's been pretty good, Hayden. It's uh it's been kind of hectic, but it's been good. Uh, yes, Ethan, I will be playing it once it comes out. I try to play pretty much any new hunting game that comes on the market. Always down to add new hunting games to the uh, channel. Like, if we find a hunting game that is really fun, then it will definitely become a staple of the channel. And I've got a feeling that Ultimate Hunting will be one of those games that ends up being pretty decent. So it should be something we play a decent bit on the channel once it's released. These deer are just kind of chilling out here. What are they even doing? <laughs> no. no more turkeys for now. We don't need five maps in a row with turkeys. I, I can understand that, Johnny. I can definitely understand that. I feel like I'm one of the few people that does want more turkeys. Just because I'm really curious to see what they would do with the next one. They've made them better every time, so I got a feeling that the next turkey that they do will be even better than the eastern turkeys. I think the one I would really like to see, uh, since they can't do oscillated turkeys, they've already talked a little bit about how they currently just don't have the ability to do oscillated turkeys because of the crazy amount of colors in them. It's just not possible with the current engine. But Ocella turkeys are a different story. Those, I feel, could be added to the game, and they do have an iridescent look to their feathers. So I think they would be a really cool turkey to have. If they add Ocella turkeys, then I wouldn't need any more turkeys in the game ever. I'd be happy with them. Uh, Matt Jenkins, thank you for the super chat, my dude. Much appreciated. Hope your day has been going great, and I should probably reload. Uh, what's your thoughts on the trophy lodge exploit you can do where you put larger trophies and smaller plaques? The lodges become more customizable. See, I don't really mind people doing it, but I'm not going to do it myself because it is an exploit. Or I guess like, it's not really an exploit, but it is like, it is like an, a glitch. And I don't really like uh, using glitches. Because if even if I were to use like something like that, right? Then people would be like, oh, I wonder what other exploits he uses. So I just try to steer clear of all like exploits or glitches. It's uh, just not something that I do. But I'm not particularly against people using the trophy lodge one because I mean it allows them to put more trophies in their lodge and that doesn't really affect people's gameplay so I'm okay with other people doing that one but I just won't do it myself <laughs> yeah Kyla
Have the kids started baseball yet? I think Aaliyah's a little bit too young for that. She's only like 10 and a half months old. Actually, she's about to be 11 months old. In three days. That's crazy. Time flies by, I swear. It's crazy. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure what species would be there, Grady. I'm not familiar with what species China would have. What's my top three maps? Right now, number one is Silver Ridge Peaks. Number two is Verhonga Savanna. And number three is Tiabaroa. And I think number four is probably Rancho. And then number five is Mississippi. I think as of now, that's kind of the order that I would go. Okay, so we got one over there. Did we miss any? Maybe. I think we're good, though. Oh, no worries, Mel. How's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Just want a leopard island map? <laughs> a map with just leopards. Yeah, Silver Ridge Peaks is amazing. I feel like it is the prime example of the right way to create a map. I've always been a huge fan of Silver Ridge Peaks ever since it released because it had like the largest amount of species I love with a map that looks beautiful and has like uh, lots of stuff to do no matter what time of day it's at. Like the thing about Silver Ridge Peaks is like it never feels dead. Because there's always animals drinking, there's always animals feeding out in the fields, like, there's always something to hunt, no matter what time of day you're hunting at. And I think that's one of the things that makes Silver Ridge Peaks such a good map. And then the other thing just being, like, the species lineup on there is top-notch. I would be okay with that, James. I really want to see a Texas uh, map in the game. I personally want to see a game ranch one where it's got a lot of exotic species from across the world. But Texas Kill Hunt, Kill Country? That's not even English. <laughs> Texas Hill Country would also be a cool one. I think both would be pretty good options for Texas. But I really want to see a Texas game ranch. I just want to see so many cool uh, exotic species on one map. It'd be so amazing. Wisconsin map totally not biased. Oh, totally not. Wish Mexico had Jaguars. Wait, do they even have Jaguars? I don't think they do, right? I know they have the Jaguarundi, which isn't really a Jaguar, but they're like similar. They honestly look very similar to a mountain lion. Like kind of like a Jaguar mountain lion cross is kind of what they look like. I was really hoping that they would have the Jaguarundi on a uh, Jaguarundi? Jaguarundi? I think it's Jaguarundi, right? I really wish they would have had it on uh, Rancho, but... We ended up getting Bobcat instead, which isn't bad. I do like the Bobcats. How did I get all my great ones? Just like this. Shooting Whitetail repeatedly for days and days and days and days.
would say Utah map if we didn't already have one. We don't have a Utah map, right? No, we don't have Utah. We've got a Colorado map, which is Silver Ridge Peaks. I don't think we have a Utah map. Jaguar are in Mexico? Really? Like, like real Jaguar, not just the Jaguarundi? That's crazy if that's a thing. If that's a thing, that would be amazing to have on Rancho. Uh, not our best shooting, but I think we got the bucks at least. There's a possibility we might have missed one, but I think it's just does. It definitely just does. All in all, that was decent. We got all the bucks. Uh, they did say that it was based on Colorado, uh, Float Goat. SRP's based on the Colorado Rockies. Do you want to have spears? Um, I don't know. I think it'd be cool to have, but I doubt I'd use it very often. But it would be cool to have that as an option just so there's more things to do. Yeah, Montana would be cool. Montana would be pretty cool. Have over 1,000 harvest and do not have a diamond. Uh, that's kind of how I was when I first started too, man. It's uh, something that... It's one of those things that um, you don't necessarily get right off the bat, you know? It took me a while to get my first diamond. I think I got my first one at level 51. So it took me a while to get my first diamond, and... It's not too out of the ordinary for it to take a little while. Uh, the more you play the game and the more you learn about all the different mechanics, the easier it will be to find them. But don't be discouraged if at first you're not able to find very many diamonds, because uh, it was the same for me. Oh, and also just a heads up, guys, I, I still am trying to finish my food, so <laughs> that's why there's the occasional, like, complete pause in talking. Uh, where did this guy go? We got the blood here. Medium bleed rate, so it shouldn't be too far away. My favorite kill is a melanistic pheasant, uh, ya boy, or yo boy. Hey, Billy, how's it going, dude? Good to see ya. Hey, Bubbles. Your sass has been insane lately. It, hasn't it always been insane, Bubbles? I don't think there's been a single time where I've looked at you and been like, Oh, he doesn't have any sass today. Face cam coming when? Uh, a couple years ago. Would I like a fishing option in Call of the Wild? Uh, no. I would not like a fishing option in Call of the Wild. I would like EW to make a separate game that's about fishing, but I don't think it should be implemented into Call of the Wild. However, if I think I think if they made a standalone fishing game, it would probably be really good. But I definitely would not like them to add it on to Call of the Wild. We've got enough stuff in this game already. Adding something like fishing would probably bug everything out. Best gun in my opinion? Oh, the 308 AR. Hands down. This thing is just so good. It is just so, so good. That'd be cool, Parker. Honestly, I'd love to see any kind of jungle map. Regardless of where it's placed in the world, I'd love to see a jungle map. It would be just really awesome to have, and it's something we don't currently have in the game, so I think a lot of people would be very happy with it. There we go. 
you think an Oregon map with part of it being coastal areas and another part of the map being more like Eastern Oregon would work? It could work. However, we would end up having a lot of the same species as Leighton Lakes. So I don't know if they'd ever do it. But I would certainly be down with that uh, considering I'm from Oregon. But I think because Leighton Lakes is kind of uh, based in Washington, they probably wouldn't do an Oregon map. Uh, Ty, thank you for renewing your membership for three months, dude. Really appreciate that, and also welcome to the stream. Hopefully you've been having a fantastic day, and are uh, having a good time watching the stream as well. What do I think of Northern Canada map? I'd love to see some more uh, Canadian-based maps. I mean, I, I guess uh, Yukon's not really Canada, but it's very similar to what Canada would be. But yes, I'd love to see Canadian maps. I'd love to see a couple different Canadian maps added. Uh, Mel with the eight months, holy. Getting close, only four more months till a year. That is crazy. It's hard to believe it's been eight months already, Mel. That's wild. Hey, B-Boy. PA style map would be awesome. There's a lot of people that want a PA map. Wouldn't be surprised if someday that becomes a reality. I'd say stick to multiplayer average, Joe. It, unless you, like, just want to be able to have the map to do, like, the missions and stuff. And to get the 22 Hornet. Actually, I'd probably recommend buying it just for the 22 Hornet. Uh, because the 22 Hornet is the only rifle that covers class 1 and 2. And it's actually very strong against both class 1 and 2 animals. After its uh, buff, it became a very good rifle. So yes, I think I actually would recommend buying it. Would you like elephants or giraffes? I like them, for sure. Uh, I, I can't really picture myself hunting giraffes. Like, I've never heard of giraffe hunting before until uh, we saw the species list for ultimate hunting. I didn't even know people hunted giraffes. Elephants for sure I'd like to see, but I I don't know how the giraffe hunting is going to be because I've never even heard of it until the last couple months. Really curious to see how it'll be. I swear, if, uh, if I end up finding a great one while I'm trying to finish my food, <laughs> that would be the worst timing ever. That would be quite unfortunate. What? You guys heard that. Really? Alright, well, I guess it's time to start booping these whitetail. Boop! Boop. 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 All right, they're dead. Beautiful. Oh, they are? I'm really interested to see what it'll be like, because, yeah, like I said, I'd never heard of it. Yeah, I could imagine, Ben. It would probably be like a tree falling, right? I don't know, Blake. I don't actually know what consoles they're going to do. It probably won't be PS4 or PS5 or any of the current systems. Because from what I've heard, they plan to release Ultimate Hunting late this year onto Steam. Into the Steam Early Access Program, which basically is a place where people can put their game on Steam in kind of like a developmental phase. 
and then kind of finish the game while people are playing it so that people can give them feedback on it. It's what a lot of games on PC use currently when they're trying to finish their development but want the feedback of everybody that's uh, interested in the game. So they plan to do early access for a couple years and I think by the time hunting or ultimate hunting comes out, uh, the P excuse me, the PS5 probably won't even be the current system. So it'll probably be whatever system comes after the PS5, you know? I think that's probably what they'll end up doing. I could be completely wrong though, but I think since it's probably a few years away from a console release, it'll probably be completely new consoles by then. Wait, where is... Okay, we clearly shot a lot here. Where are all of them? The PS6. <laughs> you never know, they might they might pull an Xbox and just go something crazy like the PlayStation Extreme. The PlayStation Extreme 5 Gold Edition. What am I eating right now? I've got some pigs in a blanket. Very, very tasty. Where did all these deer go? I feel like we're going to be walking around forever. Hunter, where'd you go? Where'd Hunter go? There he is. Show me the way. Would tigers be cool? I don't think they do tigers. I think it's actually illegal to hunt tigers pretty much everywhere. So I don't think they do tigers. They've still got them cruising. Uh, a lot of them are pretty hard to find nowadays though. I've got a few of them. But it is very hard to get your hands on copies of the old Cabela's games. Ebay is about the only place that I find them. Um, maybe Darth Minecraft. I don't know. I feel like there's better options than Alaska 2.0, but... However, what I would like to see is a couple new species added to Yukon. I don't think we need a full new map. I think what we need is doll sheep and Sitka blacktail deer put onto Yukon. I think that would probably be the move. And then toss muskox onto Medved taiga. Along with snowshoe hare, snow geese, and arctic fox. I think that would probably be a uh, better option and probably easier for them to do as well. That's a decent buck there. use the recurve when I find the great one. I think this time I'm going to use the 6.5 from like 350 meters or so. 350 to 400 meters with the 6.5 is my current goal. Because it is my favorite rifle besides the 308. And for some reason I've just never took a great one with the 6.5 even though it's my favorite rifle. Or one of my favorite rifles. Like I was saying, the 308 has kind of taken over as my favorite, but before the 308 came out, I loved the 6.5 the most out of all the rifles. So that's probably what I'll end up going with. I really want to do a long range shot with the 6.5. I think that would just be such a cool way to take down a great one. I could imagine, Kyle. I'm kind of scared to look that up, to be honest. <laughs> 
What scope do I use? I use both of them. Kinda depends on the situation. I switch back and forth between the two quite often. Little Smokies and Crescent Rolls. Oh my gosh, I need those. I never thought of that. I never thought of doing the uh, Little Smokies. Oh, that'd be so good. Gonna have to do that for sure sometime. What? Wow, these guys are way farther back than normal. That is so far back. Oh my gosh, wow. No wonder I didn't see them. That is so, so far back compared to normal. These deer are trying to hide from me, man. They realize what's going on and they're just hiding now. Not fair. Not fair. Why do you have pigs in your house with a blanket? I... they were cold, man. They were cold. Uh, the big bad wolf blew their houses down. They didn't have a brick house to hide in because, uh, you know, shortages. And, uh, so they, they came running here, and I just gave them a blanket because they were cold from being homeless. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the 2022 version of the Three Little Pigs. What am I eating compared to what you said? Uh, what we've got is, um, it's like cornbread rolls with just, like, some regular hot dogs. It's like the, um, like the regular, uh, like, just like the regular hot dogs, really. I don't exactly know how to explain them. Just regular hot dogs with, uh, cornbread muffins wrapped around them. Or, I guess, cornbread rolls wrapped around them. They're pretty good. It's something about the cornbread, like, adds a little bit of sweetness to it, and it tastes so good. Have you considered getting good? <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, to be fair, though, Mel, you have some insane luck in so many other species. You're bound to find one where the luck's not quite as good. You've got some of the, like, coolest trophies that I could only dream of finding. How many more down? We should have at least two more down. See, j just like I was saying, Mel, that right there. I still don't have a Dark Pronghorn Diamond. And you've got three of them now. I still haven't killed one. I think I've killed like 15 or 20 Diamond Pronghorn. None of them were the Dark Fur type. That is some insane luck to get all three of them to be a Dark Fur type. That's crazy. Uh, yes, I have seen, uh, LC's Great One Albino. I have seen that. Three, four. Is that only four? Okay, there's only four here this time. That's a little unfortunate. <laughs> what? Okay. You, you crazy deer. <laughs> that thing just darted out of there so fast. What's my best trophy? I mean, there's, there's really not any, I guess, such thing as best. It really depends on what you consider best. My favorite trophy is my melanistic pheasant. I think that's definitely my favorite. But as far as best, I really don't know because there's uh, many dif different definitions of what best would even be. Gave KC the sass today, y'all should have seen it. I kind of wish that I had bubbles. Kind of sad that I missed it. Nice, Thunderstriker, that's crazy. That is crazy for sure. Uh, 
Uh, just because I've used, uh, I put off using the 6.5 on a great one for so long, Destroyer, that I want to get it done. I, I feel, it just feels wrong to not have used one of my favorite rifles on a great one yet. So that's why we're going with that one this time. We'll definitely do a shotgun in the future if we find another great one after this. Because that was another thing on my list of stuff I'd like to use on a great one. But as of now, I want to use the 6.5. Commented on his video. Check it out if you're curious. Oh, I definitely will, Bubbles. Definitely will. Uh, yes, Battle Dog, you do. Alright, let's see. Is there anything here? I'm gonna finish off this last pigs in a blanket real quick, guys, so I won't be talking for like the next minute or so probably just figured I'd give you guys the heads up so you weren't curious uh, why I wasn't talking anymore Um, I was having the same issue, Acid. What I had to do, it actually canceled my uh, subscription to Flinter because it wouldn't accept my card. What I had to do is I had to remove the card and then add it again and it let me use it. So maybe that would work. It could be a different issue for you, but that's what I had to do. I just had to remove it and then add it back. Finally done eating. You know what? Oh, never mind. You beat me to it. That's uh, that's exactly what I was thinking, Caitlin. Hey, Lunar, how's it going? Glad you could make it. Oh, also, guys, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys something real quick because this is actually some pretty big news for the channel that will probably start happening within the next couple of weeks. Uh oh, I'm out of ammo. No, I forgot to reload. But as a lot of you probably know by now, because I've talked about it a few times, there's a pretty good chance I'll be moving very soon into a new place. And once we move into this new place, I plan to make some upgrades for the stream. So most likely I'll be getting a new microphone, a higher quality one than what I've got now. Currently I'm using a Blue Yeti, which it's good. It's a great USB mic, but I want something a little bit better. 
and I want some better audio quality for you guys. So I'm probably going to pick up a different microphone that's a little bit better quality than the current one. And then I'm also going to be doing a little more face cam streams than what we've got. Uh, what we've got now. Excuse me. I like had to stop mid-sentence there for a second. <laughs> but anyway. As I was saying, we'll probably be doing some more face cam streams because I'll actually have a nicer area to do them in. And so most likely I'm going to get some more of those like acoustic foam panels to better like condition the room for sound and also to make it look nicer for when we do face cam videos. So we're going to be moving up into some hopefully better quality live streams and videos. All thanks to you guys as well. I got to say it's all thanks to you guys without all the support you guys give the channel. I would not be able to do these things to improve the channel like this. Without you guys, I would not be able to get like a better microphone to be able to have crisper audio for you all. So thank you guys so much once again. Like, I can't say it enough just how grateful I am that you guys even enjoy my content enough to watch it every day. Like, it means a lot. It really does. And I, I just always want you guys to know that I really do appreciate everything. I really appreciate each and every one of you that watch the streams and watch the videos. It means a lot. And because of how amazing you guys have always been supporting the channel, we're able to finally make some somewhat substantial upgrades to the quality of the uh, equipment that I use to make these videos and streams. It uh, just, it, it honestly still doesn't even seem real. Like, it, it's just crazy to think that back in like 2014, this was all like a dream. I, I never would have actually thought that I'd ever actually be able to do YouTube. Like, I, I'd had that dream ever since I was like 14 of like being able to do YouTube videos and actually have like people that would follow them and watch them and enjoy them. And nowadays it's a reality and it, it still just doesn't seem real. Well, thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> Is a dark black bear rare? I don't think it's rare. It doesn't sound like one of the rares, at least. More like tolerate. Okay, I see how it is. See, I okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, no deer. Okay, we might need to go to the main menu. We might need to go to the main menu and then hop back in. And we're happy to have you here, Ty. Always happy to see you in chat. How much RAM does my PC have? It's got 32 gigs. I was using 16 for the longest time, and then after a while, it just was not enough to stream and play games at the same time. So currently, I've got 32. Well, the deer are back. Oh, we've got a deer there, too. Nice. Beautiful. All right, let's start blasting. That's definitely the bigger buck out of all of them. Oh, that's a pretty decent one, too. You know, one fear that I always have is that I'm going to accidentally shoot a great one through the brush or while it's behind something else and not realize it's a great one. I don't know if you guys ever have that fear when you're hunting for whitetail, but... I always just worry that I'm going to accidentally shoot a great one and not realize it's a great one. He knows I'm kidding. Of course I do. Of course. You killed them all? Nah, I don't think we did. We, we got to kill them all again. You have to kill the deer like seven times over before they're actually dead. They're kind of like a cat, but not quite as many lives. Another level five bites the dust. Nice, Mel. Let me guess, this one's another dark as well. Since I just could never find them and you've got a million. What do I mostly hunt for? Uh, primarily red deer and whitetail because we've done a lot of grinding for them. 
I think they're the two species that I've hunted the most by far. Though I do enjoy hunting a variety of stuff here on the game. We tend to hunt just about everything, but whitetail and red deer are probably the ones I've hunted the most. Oh, it stopped. Oh, what did I hit? <laughs> oh my gosh. We somehow got it. We somehow got it. I swear that tree just had it out for us. Oh, it won't let you claim it. And you're still connected. Hmm. Uh, if I were to take a guess, you're probably still connected, but it might be in the process of disconnecting you. Either that or the connection is just really weak, so it's taking a long time to claim it. I've had a couple times where the kill screen uh, showed up like 30 seconds after I tried to claim it. When's the next Parquet video? I don't know, actually. I think my goal is going to be to do a video for every map kind of in order. That way I can uh, make sure I don't forget to make any of the intros for them. Because since I'm going to be doing a different intro for every map now, I want to try and get them done as quick as I can, which means I'm going to have to play those maps. Because I, I tend to make them like when I have a video ready. That way I kind of have a better idea of what will be the perfect way to make the intro, I guess. It may not make sense, but it helps me in kind of figuring out what I want to do with an intro. Yep, disconnected. Ooh. I kind of had a feeling that that's probably what was happening. That is unfortunate, Mel. Do you know what the new great one is? Or is everyone... I'm assuming there's going to be a new one. There will definitely be more great ones at some point, but as of now, there is no news as to what it would be. There's lots of speculation, and I think the most likely great ones that we could get soon are probably fallow deer, mule deer, and moose, and maybe elk. Those seem to be the most highly requested ones. So I'd say whenever we do get a new great one, it'll probably be one of those. Where did that guy come from? Seems like that deer just came out of nowhere. Nice, Puffle, that's awesome. It's been a while since I've seen a rare fallow. Those things are quite rare. At least for me. Uh, I know some people do pretty well with them, but for me, those things are rare. Stream hates me? Oh no, Bubbles. We don't hate you. We love you. You're great, man. Thank you, Bryson. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. They're rare for me as well. Uh, especially the melanistics, right? The melanistics and the albinos just elude you. But the piebalds. Those things are basically a common. That was a joke, by the way. They're not actually common. Just... Figured I'd mention that. They're not actually common. That was just a joke. What's happened so far? Just joined back. Nothing yet, Con. We've just been having a chat about uh, various things. Have yet to see a diamond or a rare today. But to be honest, I think I've pretty much used up all of my luck for this week. We've had crazy luck with the foxes, as you guys have seen. We've found so many good fox trophies. I feel like I've used all my luck up finding those. Which I'm okay with. I needed some good foxes. And also, I probably used up all my luck in the video that's being posted tomorrow as well, so... I'm so excited for you guys to see tomorrow's video, like you have no idea. This is probably one of the videos I am the most proud of, just how it turned out. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. It's gonna be so much fun. Spoilers? Well... Let's just say... Hmm, should I give you guys a hint? I don't know. 
What do you guys think? Should I give you a hint towards tomorrow's video? Because I feel like I can't just hype it up as being one of my best videos without giving you guys a little bit of a hint as to what it is. But I don't know, you guys let me know. Do you want a hint? Or do you want to keep it as a uh, secret? You want to keep it as a surprise for tomorrow? I'll let you guys uh, decide. No hints? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of people saying no hint, and then a lot of people saying hint. What if I give you guys a hint that does not reveal the type of, like, animal that it would be? What if I do that kind of hint? Like, maybe just the kind of hunt I was going on, or something like that. Since it seems pretty 50-50, some of you want hints, some of you don't. Should we just do a hint that doesn't reveal anything about the species? And more of just like, I guess, how we were hunting? Okay, it looks like a lot of you are okay with that. Okay, so for those of you that do not want any hints at all, um, we will be telling the hint in... 10 seconds, so you have 10 seconds to mute the stream, and then I'll be telling, I'll, um, I'll shoot my gun up into the air whenever we're done telling it. That way you guys know when to unmute again. Alright, so we're doing the hint in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's just say... It was a no HUD hunt that turned into something incredible. And hint over. That's the only hint you get. I tried to make that as vague as possible with also making it at least tell you guys something about what it'll be. So hopefully that was a good hint. Hopefully you guys are excited for it, because I sure am. I'm very excited to show it. That gave me no clue. <laughs> hey, I told you guys it wouldn't be like a crazy hint. It would just be something very, like, vague. But it at least, at least tells you, like, what the type of hunt's gonna be. Alright, let's see. Oh no, Mel. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I had that happen once when I first started playing Call of the Wild. It's not fun. I'm sorry to hear that. There was one time where uh, I had just started learning about multiplayer hopping. This was way before I did YouTube. And I was on a parquet server. And I ended up seeing a level 5 mule deer, right? It was the first level 5 mule deer I had ever spotted. So I tracked the thing for over an hour. By the time I find it, somebody else realized that I was chasing a level 5. And so they were like, I'll help you get it if you want. We can we can find this guy and I'll help you find it. And so I was I didn't know any better at the time. I was like, oh yeah, sure. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Some more help to find this thing. Sure enough, the second we spotted it, he shot it and claimed it. That is when I learned from then on to never tell people when you have a trophy in front of you. Never let people know that you're after a diamond because that will happen. <laughs> and never let anybody get near your trophies either. Which is also why you guys see me rush shots sometimes when I'm in multiplayer. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that was probably one of my uh, most unfortunate multiplayer situations from before I did uh, streaming and videos. That was just sad. It was so sad. Poor, uh, poor Scarecrow didn't know what hit him back then. Yeah, some people just don't think, though, Mel. Some people just claim everything, not realizing that it, uh, 
has impact on others in multiplayer. Like, to be fair, a lot of people, um... There are a lot of people that just casually play the game, you know, that don't necessarily, I guess, know what diamonds are even. So you do occasionally run into those people that are just picking up everything. Could have been one of those situations. Oh, really, Kyla? Oh, man. Sounds like great times. Have to serve hop and steal diamonds. <laughs> don't do it, Con. Do server hop, but don't steal other people's diamonds if they're about to shoot them. Steal the ones that nobody's shooting. Frustrations of multiplayer, indeed, but although multiplayer does have its downsides, it also has a lot of upsides as well. I think I've had more good experiences in multiplayer than bad ones. And I've got some of my nicest trophies out of multiplayer too. Like that albino lion. That's probably one of my craziest multiplayer kills and the melanistic pheasant. Both of those were in multiplayer. Ooh, yeah, cruising. Wolverine would be great. You know, it honestly really surprises me that we don't have a Wolverine or a Beaver or a Badger yet. Like, all three of those species get requested a lot. And I feel like if they made one of them, it would be pretty easy to make the others as well. Oh, yeah, well... That is understandable, uh, Average Joe. I think, I think the, unfortunately, the console multiplayer experience is pretty bad compared to the PC one. Although, PC has the hackers to deal with. So, it, it kind of goes both ways, I guess. PC has really bad hacking issues in multiplayer. And then, when you're on console, there's a lot more getting kicked and a lot more just, I guess, people spamming on the microphone. So, there, there is unfortunately some bad parts to both, but there's still a lot of great things about multiplayer. It's great 90% of the times, that 10% of the time just sticks out more. It's like the news. <laughs> Sounds about right. I, that's actually a good way of putting it. It's good 90% of the time, but the 10% just really sticks with you. It's kind of just how, like, most of the Call of the Wild community is amazing. And then there's that very small portion that's just very, very loud. <laughs> yeah, Average Joe. I played multiplayer on my wife's Xbox once for Call of the Wild. And... Yeah, it was. I, I see why you, why a lot of you complain about multiplayer on Xbox. It's uh, it's not the most enjoyable experience. I got greeted by like three or four people just like with open mics, so much background noise, and then people going everywhere I was walking. Definitely not as uh, as nice of an experience as I've had here on PC. Yeah, kinda, Kyla. Kinda. There's also a part of the classic community that's like that as well. Like, the really hardcore classic players that are like, Psh, no game could ever be better than classic. Oh, you set up your trophy shot wrong? Let's, let's diss this guy. How dare he set up his trophy shot wrong. It's, uh, kinda similar to that, I guess. There's always that one small part of the community that makes other parts look bad. Yeah, true, JN. Without a mute button, I'm sure it would be terrible. Yeah, I could imagine, Con. That's something that I that I don't miss about having a voice chat. Like, 
I'm glad PC's Call of the Wild does not have a voice chat. It at least saves us, uh, that issue. That's a decent buck over there. Yeah, it really is true, Kyle. It really is. I feel like that's honestly the case with every game, though. There's always going to be the really hardcore, like the small hardcore portion of any community that is just super, like you said, like culty vibes. Where, like, they will do anything for their game. Alright, Brian, I will uh, give it a look whenever I can. Most likely after this stream's done, I'll take a look at it. Wow, did we get all five? Ah, oh, man, we barely missed vitals on that guy. Man, if we had hit all five of those in the vitals, that would have been insane. Shot recovery time. That was wild. We got any over here again? No, nothing this time. Yeah, no diamonds yet. No diamonds, uh, no rares. You should see Sims Twitter so bad. A Twitter in general is just bad. Let's be honest. I enjoy Twitter, but it's also, like, terrible. Would you say the first great one grind you should do is Red Deer so you get the money to get tents and tripods? That's actually a good point, Kent. I, I didn't think of it like that before. When you put it that way, yeah, that probably is the better grind for when you're... Like, for your first grind, because you do get a lot of money for it. And then you could use that towards uh, the rest of the grind and also the Whitetail. That's actually a really good point. So yeah, I'd say probably Red Deer is probably the better option for your first grind. Because it is a very, very good compared to the whitetail cash. I think whitetail you get like five to nine hundred on average, like five thirty-seven for this guy. So yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know, Locus. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Oh, I can't. Oh, really cruising? I haven't even looked. I don't really uh, pay attention to other creators' uh, sub counts. Yeah, I don't see anything crazy once again. Glad I wasn't drinking my coffee when I read that. Yeah, you probably would have had a scarecrow moment if you were. It would have been the whole coffee situation over again. Except with you instead of me this time. Oh, no worries, Colson. How you doing, man? Can't bring myself to comment on that. <laughs> White bubbles. Something that you're not going to comment on. Where's that lake? Right down here. But surprisingly, this is one of the nicer lakes to hunt now. As odd as it seems, this is like one of the best lakes now even though it's like much smaller than many of them i have such good luck here this is where we got one of the super rares i've had a diamond here as well and i think a troll too this has been a solid lake and it always has lots of deer buffering oh no oh no i'm dropping frames it's just a little bit though we only dropped 500 frames it should be good. It should be good. 
I think it was just a little hiccup in the stream. Looks like we're good now. Also, what was that message, Mitch? <laughs> Chill, man. Chill. Nobody needs to be seeing that. How much longer do you think you're going to stream for? Uh, probably not too much longer. We typically only go one and a half to two hours. And we are approaching that two hour mark. Uh, Brian, thank you so much for the uh, membership renewal. I almost said super chat. Thank you so much for renewing your membership. I really appreciate it. Next gold rare or better or 270. I'll become a master crow. You're the best content creator in my opinion. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate that. That is incredibly generous of you. I don't know if we're going to get any of those today, but we shall see. That is super generous of you, man. I mean, you're already a legendary crow. And to upgrade to master crow would just be crazy. But I really appreciate that. That's super kind. Thank you, Heather. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Later, Thunderstriker. Thank you for watching. I think this is the last deer we have down. Looks like it. Should do a giant collab with Flinter, Kill Clinton, Dee Dee, and Lady. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's ever going to happen. That is a lot to organize. I, I really don't see that being a feasible task. That's like, what, five creators in total, including myself? I don't think that's going to happen. It's hard enough just to organize, like, one-on-one -on -one collabs. I couldn't imagine trying to organize a five-person collab. And it would honestly just be us talking over each other the whole video. And doing a stream like that would be impossible. Did it not let us fast travel? I tried to fast travel, right? Okay, now it did. That was weird. That was really strange. <laughs> oh gosh, Con. You better not, man. There's no way it's ever gonna happen. Yeah, it would not go well, Kyla. It literally would just be people talking over each other. Like, even... Even the couple times that I've done, like, three-person live streams where it was me, Kill Clinton, and then, like, Lady Legend, it was just us talking over each other the whole time, and I feel like a lot of people did not like that, which is why I've kind of just stuck to one-on-one -on -one collabs, because I feel like it's much better that way. You're not talking over each other constantly, and it just makes for a more enjoyable experience. Watch the double super rare, that was crazy. Yeah, Caleb, that was by far the craziest thing I've ever had happen. I don't think we'll ever top that, to be honest. We really have peaked in Call of the Wild. Never again will we be, will be, bleh, bleh, English. Never again will I be able to speak. That's, that's what we were looking for. <laughs> As I was saying, we will never be able to top that because... The chances of that happening were so low that I don't think we could ever find anything that would equal the amount of, I guess, like, the crazy low odds of that situation. Just a once-in-a-lifetime experience that we will never be able to replicate. Uh, 8.30, Kent. 8.30 to 11.30 is the whitetail time. Hey, Clay, how's it going, dude? We have not found anything today, unfortunately. Lots and lots of 85 to 100 bucks, but none of them were diamond potential and no rares either. Sadly. But we made some decent progress. I think we probably killed... Maybe 70 deer today. Could get two great ones. The thing about it, though, Cole, is that's actually more likely to happen 
than getting back-to-back -back super rares. You're more likely to get a great one two days in a row than you are to get a super rare two days in a row. Super rares are roughly 10 times more rare than a great one. Which is why that situation is something I'll probably never top. Uh, cruising. thank you for the super chat, dude. Love the channel, love to see your reaction video to Ultimate Hunting's Africa map. We could maybe do some type of reaction whenever they release that. Maybe I could do like a reaction to it first, post that on my second channel, and then do like the actual like review of everything like I always do on the main channel here. We could maybe try something like that. Uh, but anyway guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream here. It's like 7.18 now and I've still got some stuff I need to do video editing wise, so we're probably going to go ahead and jump off, but this was a really fun stream. I really appreciate all of you dropping by. It was uh, nice to just kind of relax and talk to you guys about like some of the future stuff that's going to be happening regarding like the channel and me moving and things like that and then also talking about like uh, stuff we'd like to see in the game. It was fun. I enjoyed this stream a lot. But we'll be back some other time and I'm hoping that we can start doing some more evening streams to play some other games as well. I'm going to see if maybe I can get Kill Clinton or uh, some other people to join me on some games like Deadside. Get back into that a little bit. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. We will be back with another live stream tomorrow. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!